on the day of Ashura, as the sun began to rise, the plains of Karbala were filled with the sound of an adhan that was like no other. For this was an adhan of a personality that looked and resembled Rasulullah in every way. It is said that on the day of Ashura, as the companions begin to go one by one, Ali al-Akbar is watching them go and giving their lives for Imam al Hussein and for Allah SWT. In some narrations it is said that then Ali al-Akbar comes to his father and asks for permission and in other narrations it is said Imam Hussein tells his son to go towards the battlefield. But either way, Imam Hussein tells his son, before you go, I want you to remember to make me proud. It is said, Ali al-Akbar ascends his horse and begins walking slowly towards the battlefield on his horse. But every time he's walking, he can hear the sound of footsteps behind him. So he turns around and he looks. And he sees his father broken, following his footsteps as the horse walks. It is said, Ali al-Akbar then comes down from his horse and he says, Oh father, we've already said our goodbyes. Why are you following me? Why are you following my horse? Why are you following my footsteps? Why are you coming? We've already said our goodbyes. Is it just, it's at this point that Imam al-Hussein with tears in his eyes says, Oh Ali, if only you had a son like you. <laughs> it is said Imam al-Hussein says, Oh Ali, go to us the battlefield, but please don't deny me this right of following you as your footsteps begin to walk. But promise me two things. Number one, every time you're in the battlefield and you overcome an enemy, turn around and please look at me. <laughs> For every time I've missed my grandfather, I've always looked at your face. And the second thing is, oh Ali, go out there and remind everyone the power of, our, of your grandfather Ali ibn Abi Talib. It is said Ali al-Akbar goes out into the battlefield and one by one he begins killing all the enemies. And it's said that he comes back and then goes back again. There's not enough time to narrate that part. But it's said that Ali al-Akbar is overcoming enemies one by one and one by one. He's sending them all to Jahannam. And with every person that he overcomes, he turns around and he looks at his father. And his father says, Marhaba, well done Ali. But it's said at one point he overcomes an enemy and he turns around to look at his father. And one of the enemies takes the opportunity and embeds a spear into the chest of Ali al-Akbar. Ali al-Akbar falls from his horse and falls onto the ground. This enemy then thinks that maybe this father hasn't seen his son fall to the ground. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up his son on the spear and show his father. It's said that Ali al-Akbar's body begins to rise on the spear and the spear breaks and Ali al-Akbar falls back to the ground. And it's said that at this point narrators say that they see an old man fall to the floor onto his face and begin to crawl through the desert of Karbala. It is said that Hussein gets up and stumbles and falls back to the ground. It gets up and falls back to the ground. And then he calls out, Oh my son, Ali al-Akbar, please call me. My vision has gone. I can no longer see. Maybe with the sound of your voice, I can crawl and find your body. And said Imam Hussein crawls slowly to get to the body of Ali al-Akbar. It said that Imam Hussein picks up the head of Ali al-Akbar and puts it into his laps. And he says, Oh my son. You mean everything to me. What have they done to you? It said, at this point, Imam Hussein says, let me take your body back to the tents. And Ali al-Akbar says, okay. So Imam Hussein asks Ali al-Akbar to put his two hands around Hussein's neck so Hussein can drag his body back. Who has Hussein left? It said that Ali al-Akbar puts one hand around the neck of Hussein, but leaves the other hand on his chest. Imam Hussein tries to walk and every time he walks, the body of Ali al-Akbar falls to the floor. He says, oh son, why do you leave this one hand on your chest? And Ali al-Akbar replies, oh my father, I don't want you to see. It said that at this point, Imam Hussein says, oh son, your father is the patient one. Please move your hands, I'll be able to bear what I can see. And so at this point, Ali al-Akbar moves his hand and Hussein sees that broken spear in the chest of his son. It's at this point Imam Hussein puts one hand on the chest of Ali al-Akbar and one hand onto that broken spear. He puts one knee on the floor of Karbala and one knee on the chest of Ali al-Akbar and he looks up at the skies and he calls out, Ya Ali! Oh my father Ali, come to Karbala and with you bring my grandfather Ibrahim and Ismail. Oh my grandfathers, 
Come and see today Hussein is not wearing a blindfold. My Ismail's hands are not tied. It said that Hussein calls out Ya Ali and he pulls out the spear from the chest of Ali al Akbar and there's a fountain of blood. It said that at this point Hussein begins to move the body of Ali al Akbar back towards the tents. At one point, he reaches the place where the body of Qasim is, where the pieces of Qasim are. He puts the body of Ali al-Akbar down next to the body of Qasim and he sits in between. He puts one hand on the chest of Ali al-Akbar and one hand on the chest of Qasim. He looks up at the skies and calls out, Wa Ghurbata! Wa Ghurbata! Oh Allah, today I've become completely Ghalil because my Qasim is no, no, is no longer left, neither is my Ali al-Akbar. Did I raise you for this day to see you drowned in blood? Did I raise you for this day to see you drowned in blood? This is an ultimate test of a father's love. A spear in your chest, your final anguish cries. My heart is filled with grief, O oh, apple of my eyes. My son, where are you? I can't see. My vision has deserted me. I hear your final cries. To you I try to come. I stumble and I fall. Each time I try to run, crawling across the sands upon my hands and knees. Your father's on his way. My son, just wait for me. My son, where are you? I can't see. My vision has deserted me. He says to his son, says, These hands upon your chest, what do you hide from me? Is it that you have pain? Or a wound from which you bleed Please let your father help you in your time of need And move your hands away from this so I can see My father, don't look down too far A spear's deep inside my heart The skies are witnessing beneath the scorching sun a broken father looks down at his dying son Their bodies trembling with tears in their eyes And they embrace one last time as they say goodbye My father, don't look down too far A spear's deep inside my heart He says, Father Avert your eyes, how can you stand to see? You know that there's a spear broken inside of me. This hand of mine is trying to hide my fatal wound. It's time I know my soul will be departing soon. My father, don't look down too far. A spear's Deep inside my heart I will take any pain Your pain I cannot see I will take any pain Your pain I cannot see This wound will hurt you more More than it's hurting me But I cannot say no Father to your request my life belongs to you, I know that you know best. My Lord, this is my sacrifice. My son's dying before my eyes. Imam Hussein put one knee upon the ground. One knee upon his chest. Upon a broken spear, these trembling hands rest. 
His arm around my neck, his hand upon my head. Imagine. His arm around my neck, his hand upon my head. I beg for patience for this test that I withstand. My Lord, this is my sacrifice. My son's dying before my eyes. Imam Hussein says, Looking towards Najaf, I cry out, Ya Ali, the test of labor was nothing compared to this. I pull upon the spear, taking a deep breath in. In my hands is bleeding hard. My son no longer lives.